Hey, so it's been a while and I have a long overdue sponsor reveal to do and I have an interview with that sponsor that I did probably about two months ago by now that needs to come out. But it's been a while for a reason. The realization that I need to prioritize some things over other things right now in my life hit me because school's hard. So let's dig into that and we'll see where this goes. I'm an environmental chemistry student, which is a lot of chemistry, and U of T is a difficult school. And I had this grand plan over the summer when I started this up of keeping it going throughout school. <laughs> nice try, Lao Shea. I've been in school for a long time, and I want to get it done. I want to be out of school so that I can focus on this, so that I can dedicate all my time to this, because I love doing it. So this year, I'm trying to think about priorities because all my life I've tried to do everything all at once. I thought that if I committed myself hard enough to all the things, I could get them all done. And I tried becoming an arts vendor and an artist while doing school, while working and doing murals. And all of those things suffered. Yeah, there are people my age who are making a ton of money and they're successful and awesome. And I admire them. And there are people younger than me doing it, but there are people older than me doing it. When we watch an action film and we see a montage of training and working hard for four years and then they come out of it and they start this great life. I mean, for four years, that's all they did. And they turned down opportunities for four years. They focused on one thing for four years. Um, and I always want that right now. I always want to be at the end of the montage. Show me wax on, wax off. Get! Get! If I had prioritized my education, I would have graduated last year. So you want to think about the tangible, realistic consequences of not prioritizing things. It's that the things you still try to do and you don't prioritize, they take way longer. If something costs you, you know, six to 12,000 a year, maybe get that thing over with. I don't know. I worked so hard because I desperately wanted to start saving money. I wanted to start investing in stocks and savings accounts. And I wanted to start building this baseline of, I don't know, financial freedom to not constantly be worried about what happens when I run out of money because that is important and it is a priority, but it, it shouldn't have been a priority for me then. And I just, I, I wanted the money. This is where it got me. So now I'm prioritizing school over this channel just for this semester. Next semester, I only have three courses and then I'm done. University's like over and out of my life. Like I can taste the fresh air. There's freedom just over that horizon. And I want to get there so bad, so bad badly. I want to be free of this because I've, I've never in my life known what it's like to not have to worry about school and learning things ever. Can you believe that? For 24 years, all I've known is school. In the next year, I'm going to come back with more content and I'm going to create what I'm calling the metaphorical YouTube wall. And we're going to just throw things at the wall until something sticks. El Pita Cafe. What amazing, lovely people who I've done a slight disservice to. I fucked up by not making this video sooner. 
I made this video two months ago and said I'm prioritizing school, everyone would have understood. We all would have been on the same page, but I didn't. And that sucks. And that's bad on my part. I mean, I can't just do that. I can't just get people invested in something and then leave. And that's what I did. So if you take anything away from this video about priorities, um, the most important thing wasn't even about priorities. It was about your connections with other people. Alpita Cafe, thank you for sponsoring this video. And let me tell you a little bit about Alpita by showing you some of the things they got me. Yo, and welcome to a never before seen corner of the apartment. Cool, cool. Let's dig into this amazing gift that Alpita got me when I went to visit them. They're in Keswick, Ontario. Justin and Amanda, again, uh, thank you so much. And sorry this took so long. But let's dig into it. First and foremost, three roasts. Three different blends of coffee. I've got a Guatemalan roast. Ooh. I've tried them all, by the way, already. I've tried them all and they're amazing. Um, I thought the blonde would be my favorite because normally I like lighter roasts, but actually I'm more a fan of the Guatemalan blend. Now you know what would make this right is a little bit of the coffee to go alongside it. So hold on. I'm gonna go grab some coffee. I'll be right back. Okay. We have coffee, and also I forgot this. Check this out, just catch a little glimpse. It's friggin' awesome, I love it. The first $20 that I've ever made from YouTube. I will have that for the rest of my life. As a reminder that anything is possible. Anything at all. I don't remember where I was or what I was talking about, but if you like a lighter roast, Blonde Beginnings is excellent. The darkest roast that I got is the Sumatra. Justin roasts all of these himself because they like to keep it fresh. So moving on to the rest of it, I showed you the frame $20 bill that got me with the quote from Wayne Gretzky from Michael Scott. If you watch The Office, you know. If you don't, you don't. We have the LP to tote and it's filled with some things that I have been wanting to crack into so badly, but I haven't had the opportunity because I wanted to do this, this, this thing. This is it. This is the one. You're gonna love it. It's beautiful. Alpita branded metal reusable straws. Save the environment. Do it. Alpita Cafe and Roastery bottle. Alpita Cafe and Roastery double merch, double dub. Shazam, close it up, now your straw doesn't fall out. I didn't know that that was what that was for and then I had it explained to me and my mind just grew. It grew that day, it really did. Uh, Alpita works with a lot of local businesses. I can't put into words how supportive these people are and they've worked with someone who creates handcrafted soaps to create an Alpita line of soaps and they've got ones that also include genuine tea, tea as well. This is the coffee one that I'm rocking right now, but you can bet that once I start making some revenue here, I'm gonna be trying them all. You should too. Finally, what I have waited, probably too long to crack into, but I have waited and waited to crack into, Alpita Coffee Bean Chocolate Bars. Mmm, 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 mmm. It really actually is that good. That all together, that's what I got. Visit Alpita, say hello, and support local businesses. Thank you so much for coming to my TED Talk. That's so good. Oh. Mm. So the killing dome, drilling room, fuck and I skill and done, skill it hunt, skill and I finished all fishy bit a minute one, meant to yet another one, and they keep out a bubble gone, honey one is on the one, one to one, catch up, triple song, bat so, dumb a dumb hat so